Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Series for version 2.7 of the game. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 16, and it is the year 23, 2373. This is the Nomad Empire, if we scroll back. You see, we are the blue area. People who don't like us are in red. We're part of a federation with these guys, and we don't have the best cohesion, but it's at least in the positive direction now. <clears throat> so we like that. We'd like to be able to start taking control of some of the federation things after a while. We have to get we have to get to level two of the federation. You can see how far we are here. <clears throat> We're at eight hundred and seventy out of twelve hundred. When we get to the next level, level two, then we can change the laws for uh, federation centralization. Low succession type can then be, it unlocks the following law succession type challenge, which is what we'd like to do. War declaration, majority vote. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat today. And this is, this helps make it easier. Those changes help make it easier for us to declare wars with our federation. You can eventually move it up to the succession type of strongest, meaning that uh, for sure, if you're the strongest member of your federation, you automatically you can be you can be the next person in charge. Um, for succession term, I'm I'm uh, can, I, I actually might want to move it to ten years so that we have a better chance of rotating into it sooner. Uh, everybody would would pass that too. So I got to think about that. <clears throat> right now, it's on uh, vote weight is equal. Later on, we can change it to diplomatic. War declaration has to be a unanimous vote. Later on, we can change it to majority vote. And then at the furthest level, you can do president decides, and that's what I like to get it to. Same thing with invite members and kick members. You can get this president decides thing. And so if you can get yourself to where the strongest person is, uh, is the... The strongest person is, is in charge when there's a secession, and only through status change requires it requires a secession type to be strongest. So only if somebody else becomes the strongest group can they become president. Then then you can kind of be in charge of the federation for for good. In the meantime, here's what's happening. We sent our fleets over here to help with the robot uprising of our neighbors. Uh, our transport fleet is headed back. Our other fleets are headed back. The the Khan down here died and a new Khan took over and they became the new Nar Khanate. And so now they're a legitimate faction. They're not just at war with everybody all the time. They'll have to decide to go to war for themselves. And that means, uh, well, and the, the fourth, the last piece of the puzzle over here is we sent an envoy to the sovereign Lachak's domains and made them friendly to us and they opened their borders and now they don't want to kill us. And so that leaves the Synthoid Matrix. So what we're going to be doing is moving all of our fleets back here up to this spot and we will <clears throat> redesign our fleets. Well, we don't need to. We don't need to redesign them. We need to get them all filled up. You can see 170, 170. We need a little more fleet power for all of that. Really, is what we need. So we'll go up here and get these guys repaired, and we'll get them as full as we can, and we can afford to go over. We're making one k a month, anyways, and we'll get our three fleets ready to go, and then we'll see if we can get our federation to declare war and go finish off the Synthroid Matrix, who've been a little bit problematic. The whole time. This guy I'm going to send down here to build a uh, <clears throat> a mega a gateway, but I'm lacking 67 influence, so i got to wait for that. I want to get a gateway over there. In fact, this gentleman here, I think I'm just going to disman. There's no reason hanging on to him for right now. We're, we're getting really close to being into the repeatables for physics is now all in repeatables and this almost is so this is very cool climate restoration we're getting close to being repeatables in all of our techs and our <coughs> empire continues to grow and like this this is fabulous research planet and we're busy these are our titans so one of the things I want to build here on this particular planet 
I don't know if we can. Yes, right here is a military academy. Um, Army starting experience 100. Uh, on any of these planets where I have a W designated for war, this planet has these titans on it. And so they can. Uh, you can create. You can. Special project concluded. You can recruit them here. You can rec recruit a titanic beast on this planet for your war efforts. But. I'm also I, I would I would want to recruit more than just the Titanic beast, so I'd want to recruit your soldiers. So I might as well put a military academy down and have them start with more experience. This person is corrupt, um, and it's a research system, and I'd like to keep it that way. But we don't have one, so what I'd like to do is I might want to get rid of that corruption. Depending on that, let's go take a look at what system that is again. Where is Titan at? Oh, did I not put that in that system? There it is. It's in this system. So I just want to check. Because she's corrupt, I want to check my crime across the system. And as long as I'm not experiencing crime, then I'm going to leave that person there for their research bonuses. And we're doing good, so I don't mind that. Uthen now is saying, hey, I don't have enough housing. And that's actually okay. Um, I could replace their robot assembly plant, and I might just do that. What we'll do is... Re replace it with luxury residences and that'll allow us to upgrade the rest of these things and we'll more or less have enough housing same thing on this planet if we upgrade this <coughs> this gives them a little more housing they're still going to need a lot more housing because of all these upgrading each one of these is six more jobs um, so we might have to trade one generator district for another uh, city district and i'm okay doing that and then we might want to replace their robots with a luxury residence as well and we'll upgrade those to paradise domes on this world they have a little bit of crime and they have one worker who's unemployed i'm going to choose to elect choose to upgrade this stronghold because i want to start getting more naval capacity i'm going to spend the last on this bulwark of harmony which grants uh, ship build speed is increased by 33% and the ship fire rate is increased by 15% for ships only inside of our borders. So it's very good for defense. And unlocks one more ascension perk. So um, if we scroll down here, there's some really cool ones that I've previously really enjoyed in my playthroughs, like this one, Galactic Pretender. I'm uh, Galactic C Contender. Um, Damage to fallen empires plus 33%. Damage to awakened empires plus 33%. This is this is great for taking out fallen empires. <laughs> I really like it. But uh, you don't need it. So I like to pick things that you actually need. Uh, transcendent learning. Shared destiny. Void born. What am I looking for? Oh, I want to save one for the Colossus Project. I probably want Evolutionary Mastery. Requires Glandular Acclimation. So we're going to wait until we get the tech, and then it'll unlock that one, and that'll give us three more gene modification points. So we'll wait. We won't spend... We won't spend our perk yet. You don't have to spend them as soon as you get them. You can wait. Now we have a Titan. Oh, and there's the Giga Cannon. I'd like to upgrade that. On this planet, they're saying, hey... And they're, they're, we're going to be able to, to basically do all the districts on this planet. It's pretty amazing. That rarely happens. This one gets robots. And it has 17 jobs avail available. So it's not in a hurry for jobs. This one down here. We said we were going to do energy, minerals, and research. The first thing I'd like to get is some clerk jobs for it, so let's do that. <clears throat> and all of our fleets are back up here now. So we can tell them to upgrade and they'll go. That's what they're gonna go. That's the nearest shipyard. They go through the gateway over there. And I want to take this fleet. They're at 130 of 180 in their capacity, so we can add some more ships here. So what I'm going to do is add another day, another battleships. And uh, I'm going to add kinetic, armor hull. So I can have three battleships of each kind, and then I can add one more picket ship destroyer. So we'll do that, and then we'll tell it to reinforce the fleet. And hopefully it means that this shipyard here 
Nope, not that one's going to do it. So one of, the, one of the shipyards close by is going to do it. Probably this guy. Nope, who knows where it is then. Somewhere. All right, naval capacity. This is a, a repeatable tech. We're going to grab some of these other things first and get them out of here. This agri world says, I have unemployed pops. And I say, well, what I say to that is, I'm just going to use the rest of this on food. And if we need luxury housing on here again, we'll do the same thing. We'll take robot assembly plants and, and swap them out for luxury housing. Because at that point in time, it's pretty full. We don't yet have ring worlds to, to start taking care of excess pops with. That's a crystal, and that's a crystal to upgrade. Hab B. We're just waiting for more people now to start unlocking more slots. So this one, it still says it's got an unemployed person, so I'm going to put this upgrade on this building. And I'm going to do that, and... <clears throat> and in fact, because I have a few extra people here... Uh, where's the where do, Uthen is the one that has a lot of excess people. I'm gonna send some of those to Hab B. In fact, uh, let's move them right now. Hab B. Let's move that unemployed specialist. Alien megastructure built. They have built a science nexus. Good for them. We're gonna send a couple of clerks over, and that'll change things on happy and that unlocks this last slot now see they have a whole bunch of unemployed people so we have to find suitable jobs for them and the commercial zones are really the thing to do there it's like I, I gotta get as many of these refineries down as I can but these people also need jobs can't have a, a bunch of Research unemployed people concluded. fleet enhancement supplied Habitability modification. Alright, so what is this? This is almost all repeatables. It's getting there. We're maxed out, so let's sell some of those. Let's buy. Let's buy some crystals to knock down our money and make sure it's not all being wasted. This planet, we said research. So, put research on it now that it's got the basics out of the way. This one has an unemployed pop. This is easy to fix on this planet. Oh, Nomon is doing a lot of the work for those ships. So that's that's one of the ones that's doing a lot of work. This is who? The Obadan Sancrosict is over there. Well, would very much like for you guys to... Yeah, they're going to go fight these guys. I think they're in a war with them. They are. Synthoid Wanksters is defending against them. Right now, they're inferior. I'd love to go to war with these guys. But we can't get our, our people to do it. Insulting the Jugwallen envoy. We take the comedy modifier added for 25. So Fleet enhancement supply. That happens a lot. Okay, so in physics, we're completely into repeatables, and I've said energy weapon, attack speed, and damage are the things I like to go, but I am going to grab a little bit of shielding as we go along. Titan hull hit points. That's a rare, uh, it's a rare tech that I want to get. That's an extra 2,000 hit points, so. But before these bozos go in here and go to war with them, I would like to take, I want to be, look, they just grabbed this, the Obatna and Sankrasic. Dang it. So, that's too bad. Now they're probably going to go in here and take over all of that. And we're not going to get it because we don't have this contiguous block. What about the Obadin? They're pathetic compared to us. Look at where they're at. We may just have to come blow them up. Uh, in the meantime, I think it's time for... I'd like to get a gateway here, so Initial let's do that first, and then we can build a Dyson Sphere. This colony, this habitat. So this is Hab C, except um, I'm not sure this is actually... It is Hab C, it's the Nomad one, so it's correctly named. So we say, make a refinery habitat. 
out of it. Make a decision to help immigrate some pops to it. Take this. Do all of those. And then we'll move some people to it. This is Hab C. I want to make sure all my habitats got... Oh, we did re end up renaming that other habitat. We named it Habitat AA. It's right here. It's in the relic system. So... So right here, this is this planet, Saozunil. Saozunil. Uh, we said we were going to make it consumer goods. It's going to focus on minerals and consumer goods. But because every planet gets a stronghold, that's what we'll do with that. Now, is that remember early in the game we were maxed out on influence and we couldn't th find anything to spend it on. Well, now that we have mega structures, gateways, and all of various mega structures that we can build they use it up really quick so the part I like getting to is when we get done with this when we get done with domination we'll have this these edicts over here and they call these uh, ambitions and this one will to power is very nice monthly influence plus five in the meantime we have enough we have a lot of relics we have 108 so it's just special project delving into the secrets of the Voltium. I'm going to do that. Special Delving into the secrets of the Voltium. I'm going to do that. That's going to take two months. And I'm also going... Oh, what's going on here? Senate floor. Moderate economic sanctions. We've already said how we want to vote on that. Another day. Another scientific break. I want to go here and send artifacts to museums on any of our planets that have this right here. Culture workers. This will help. Special project this has them uh, generate uh, unity faster, so... The Voltium were undisputed masters at computing and virtual worlds. We will be able to use their findings to dramatically aid our own research in these fields. Their conclusions are troubling, however. At first glance, they appear to be fundamentally flawed nonsense, but upon deeper inspection, they seem to have elements of truth to them. If we wish to delve deeper, we will require additional time and resources. We will put what we've already learned to good use. You get 500 research. Secrets of the Voltium modifier added given the following effects. Research speed for computing and amenities plus 10 or dig deeper and uh, this person now has this expertise and it's just a special project delving deeper so that project's going to take five months investigate these aliens i'm going to do that because it'll take one month and influence is a potential um, reward for that okay we'll claim war costs there Special project concluded. Okay. Oh, and over here. I see. The T Yankee. So now we get frequency tuning on them. Translating the war attack. This is all stuff that at the beginning of the game was going to take a lot of months and slow down research. And I was like, eh, not interested. But now we have the time. We might as well do it. So what is this? What's going on over here? We have Synthoid Matrix and the Obadan who are about to get their butts kicked. Oh, yeah. They most definitely are. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll take that back and then we can go in there and get that as one big contiguous thing. Contiguous piece of real estate. I do recommend getting the Tiny Outliner mod. It's the, probably the number one mod that I recommend getting. Special project concluded. Appears that the text we found buried in the battlefield were more teachings written by... Talisa, the teller of tales, documents are breakdowns of tactics, strategy, and most importantly, logistics in interstellar war. Being a strong spokesperson against war, Talisa still found this to be essential knowledge for steering into the future. Even the most peaceful of people might be forced into a corner in their work for a better world. So it gives access to the Master's teaching Warring States Empire Edict. So we can go in there and see... Master's Teachings. This gives you last 14 years, it costs 90 influence. Naval capacity plus 10% and army upkeep minus 15. So that's a nice war one to have. I want you to move there. 
Okay, how are we doing over here, gentlemen? Uh, one of you. Keep boosting you. What does this look like? 180 of 180, so I presume the other one is on its way then. It's going to be building stuff and sending it to him. This planet has an unemployed ruler. Fleet enhancement supplied. Fleet enhancement supplied. I might want to just resettle him to the EQ Monopolis, because the EQ Monopolis will be able to make use of him after a while, I'm sure. Unemployed ruler. Or we can eventually move him around somewhere else. Actually, that's what I need to do is find a planet that's going to upgrade. If I, well, if he's still hanging around, we'll do it over time. Uh, let's see. I'll go back to the EQ Monopolis, and I'm going to build the next one of these. I'm going to sell some of these. We're still we can still buy way more alloys right now, can't we? We should probably do that. Let's uh, let's crank this up to 150 and see how that works. Waiting for the final ship to come over here so it becomes 180. This fleet right here. We can do the same thing with their current lead 130 of 80, 80, and this is the basically your blueprint for your fleet. Uh, see my ships tutorial <laughs> on this stuff. Because that's what I, I made it for. I'm gonna reinforce that fleet now our number is up here pretty good and these guys did take that back over so Obadan got Research their butts kicked concluded. to give us a chance to go down there administer okay so now what do we have we're all repeatables except for this energy siphon so we'll look at traditions these there are some really neat ones in here evolutionary mastery that's the one we need so gene modification points that's the and now we're saving one for the Colossus and we can go into species and we can say hey so for instance uh, for us these well like let's fix these guys first um, create a template for them let's get weak let's get rid of weak for them oh my goodness they I got a bunch of stuff unity from jobs let's see so many things. Empire Sprawl from Pops. I love that one. Oh, and they're out of points. So that's all we can do. Well, we can create that template and we can say apply that template to all those workers in our universe, in our galaxy. Two months that'll be done. These guys are over here, still doing their thing. Okay, hold on. What are you doing? Did you not join? Moving to merge with Third Fleet. Good. You'll be with Third Fleet in a minute, and I won't have to manually move you. Mm. Sorry, but having a drink here. Yeah. He's moving. When's he going to be there? That's the question. Genetic improvement project concluded. Yay, so those guys are done. The Dyson Sphere is constructed. So. We did that down here. That's great. I want you guys to move back. So the Dyson Sphere is done down here. And this is why I really hope someday Paradox puts a thing up here for it. But um, you can see the very beginning of it is right here. It's like I'm hanging over. So now you have to basically build it in three sections. We don't have enough of this, so I'm just going to go buy some. And it's a little expensive to do, but that's why we have money. So then you always have to click on something else. So now... Dyson's first room. I think three more constructions of it and it'll be done. And it gives you lots of energy credits, which is research very, very nice. Concluded. Research, energy siphon. Okay, genetic resequencing and advanced traits. I'll take that. Um, let's see. Devastator torpedoes and kinetic artillery. Let's go with that. So we're in the hole because of how much it costs each month to buy these because we went and actually bought a bunch ourselves so we jacked up the price. And over here since we don't have a minimum price on it, it automatically buys it every month. 
I've tried using the minimum price, but it, the game seems broken that way. Um, it doesn't seem to, to, to obey it is the problem. So I just, uh, and see now it's, it's going to come back because the price is going to lower. So we won't be spending as much every month. This is, let's raise that up. We really need to get some of these habitats and stuff ready to go. Okay, so here's a place that's going to need an admin on Trappist 6. So we're going to go back to the Ecumenopolis and we're going to resettle this person to Trappist 6, which is way down here. And then we're going to send that ru ruler over there. And then we're going to come down to Trappist 6. Trappist 5. Trappist 6. And when we upgrade this capital, it's going to provide yet another leader job. And that admin is going to get that job. And then over here, we know that we're doing energy and food and we haven't figured out what else we want to do with this planet yet. And I think what I might want to do with it just because we're so low on them is refineries. So. I'm going to put a stronghold on it. This leader here, you can go in and check and see. He's a ruler. He's unemployed. He's being demoted to worker in 964 days. But we don't have to worry about that because we're going to give him a job in exactly 172 days. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I usually play on this mode fast. At the very beginning of the game, I'll play on the fastest a lot, just to move things along at a clip. Um, sell some more of those. But let's go back to Trappist 6. I want to watch this. 111 days. And then we'll go while we're doing that let's go to Kira real Research quick concluded. oh this is a bureaucracy world great well in the meantime let's give them some clone vats and some housing and then go back to Trappist 6 let's do the research shield hit points uh, so again full repeatables for all these so I'm going to be choosing a lot of energy attack speed and energy attack damage Trap 6, 46 days, watch this gentleman take this job. Should be fun. 28 days. And he gets it and the job's gone. And now he's got two specialists that need jobs. And we're about Research to do that because we have a stronghold. And the one thing I didn't check when I moved him is this guy's a nomad when we moved him when he was unemployed. So fortunately, the good news is we moved him to a continental world. I should have paid attention to that before I moved him. But Kinetic artillery so we can get synth leaders. Which makes it for very nice. Yes, and we're in the hole under our crystals now. So that's the thing we'd like to kind of start fixing. Like with this habitat here. Oh, so crime is starting to go up a little bit because of this guy. So now is when I'm going to replace him. There's some bureaucracy. So I'm going to replace him with that person. And then I'll go into my leaders and say, Sorry, Bubba. At age 64, you're just too corrupt for me. So you're gone. Can't be a part of my empire if you're going to be a corrupt Another old duffer day. like that. Another scientific break. Another scientific breakthrough. Oh, yes. Genetic resequencing. Remove beneficial traits and detrimental traits after pop appearance when modifying a species. And advanced traits. Unlocks additional traits that we can add to species when modifying them. All very nice stuff. Okay, now we're full repeatables. So now it's like, what do you want to do? Well, our admin capacity is pretty good. So, uh, edict duration, food from jobs, star base capacity. I usually just go for admin, but leader lifespan would also be uh, nice. Although if we get synthetic leaders, then we don't have to worry about it. So let's do admin capacity. Mm -hmm. 
This planet needs two more jobs. I will give them. Upgrading research labs cost me gases, which I'm still really good at. I'm earning 13 a month on those. Gateway construction site ready in the Vite system. Yay. So this one's ready to go over here. Approach down. We can say, hey, build it. If you build it, they will come. Got a hundred influence. Does, I think we need 200 to build a gateway. Nope, we need a hundred. Great. I'm going to build one right there. All right. So up here, I can start adopting the last one. Domination. Domination. So here on this world, not a lot of housing for these guys. So what we're going to do, this, if we lose this, this loses a job. So the best thing to do is first upgrade one of these and then take this robot assembly thing and replace it with luxury residences. Then nobody has to be unemployed. This has two specialists that need jobs. We could upgrade this building here for a moat. So we'll do that. Put those specialists to work. This habitat is up, ready to go. Research concluded. Let's put more crystals down. Synth leaders, those are awesome. Titan whole hit points. And at any point in time, if you want to see research, you can hit this research button and you come back up here and look at this. Allow synth pops to be leaders. Now, I think we have to change something within our robots. It allows them, but I'm not sure that they actually do that. So set rights, full citizenships, academic privilege, military service exempt. No, we can say full military service. Colonization forbidden, population controls, no population controls, migration controls enabled. And then, uh, oh, minor robot. Let's create templates for these guys. What else are they going to be? Empire Sprawl from Pop, Streamline Protocols. So that uses that up. So I can apply that to all the robots on... All the robots are either miners or, all, or on mining worlds, like this one. This is a mining world because of the M. That's why I like to prefix all my worlds because then when I'm in these menus, I know what they do. So all that... Do I have any... This has miners on it. It has six of them. So I'd like to do those. This has miners on it. It's got seven of them. This has miners on it. There's 19 of them on there. Miners on Uthan. This planet's a mining planet. This planet's a mining planet. All these are mining planets. So I'm going to make the robots there do that. I'm Actually, I'm wondering if I should bother with that at all. Here's what I'm thinking. Hmm. i got to think this over. I'm just wondering if the minerals from jobs is... is... Uh, is beneficial or if I should just make them generic like this. They're Empire Sprawl, Robot Upkeep, and Pop Assembly Speed Up. Maybe I should just make everybody do this. And then it'd be easy for my robots if I only had one kind of robot. Because what happens if I take this? I can't delete that template. That's kind of the problem, no? Uh, we'll leave things the way they are. What we'll do then, next federation is unlocked. Awesome. What we're going to do then is apply this template this minor robot, this better one. We're going to apply it, but we're only going to apply it to all the existing minor robots. So we'll do this. And not... Uh, yeah, and we're going to do that. Let's do that. Three months. Um, so the next federation level is unlocked, which is really cool. So now we can say we want low federation centralization. And everybody's like, no. Mm -mm. So we can start trying to call in favors. Um, if we want to get this passed, you can see how it reduces the numbers. So I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. I might want to look for some favors first before we do that. Lo Lock unlocks the following law succession type challenge. That's the thing that I want to get. Require centralization of lower higher. So who do we need to get perks from? Glossed, Larongo, Mirin, 
Gloss, Larongo, and Mirin. Well, let's go. If we go to Gloss, Warhini, communicate with them, make some trades. So let's see. I want as many favors as I can get. And in order to do that, I'll give you. What do I have the most of? Moats and exotic gases. I have a lot of exotic gases. So if I just trade you. If I trade you whatever it takes to get this. There we go. Glossed Warhini. And then I go in here and say Larongo was the other one. So I communicate with them. Included. Offer a trade deal. You can only do 10 favors at a time. You can't go beyond that. So you go in here, exotic gases, and say, hey, I got exotic gases for you, buddy. All right, confirm that. And who else is in my fleet? The Mirren Alliance. The Mirren Alliance and the Union of Mardom. The Mirren Alliance of Colonies. The Mirren Alliance of Colonies. Oh, they can only do seven. So that's their limit. So we'll do that. And I, my memory is so bad. Who is it? Union of Mardom. Okay, who are you guys? Union of Mardom. Well, you're here. I wonder if the number of favors you can get from them is based on their size. Nope, you can get full ten from those guys. Well, that still doesn't mean it's not based on size, but... Confirm. All right, so now we have favors from a whole bunch of people. So can we go in here and change centralization to low? Oh, and we can get these guys to flip over like this. Oh my gosh, I can't quite get them to do it. So I don't want to pull those in. But I can get them to do it. Research concluded. I can't quite get them to do it. So that gives us what? Three plus me? A failed vote or vote. Do I need a unanimous decision? Voted to change. Yes. So it succeeded because it had to be majority. So that's nice. Okay. Energy weapon damage. Let's go back to let's keep these guys even. There's energy weapon attack speed. So <coughs> migration treaty proposed between those guys. Vote for federation law changed, which is great. So we can go to our federation now. And we can see that we're now low. So now, challenge. Succession type of challenge. And nobody wants this. Nobody. These guys are like, no way, man. But later on, we can go in here and we can get some more favors. Like these guys. We can, we can tell the lower angle, yes. These guys don't have enough favors. Can we... So there's two out of three. There's three out of five. Is that enough? And we voted to change the succession type to challenge. So now, the Federation chooses its president by challenge. May the best win. Awesome. So that's cool. Uh, so who's... Uh, so who's going to be president? Nomad Hedge Money. We're the leader of the alliance. Okay. Now, what about wars? Can subjects join? Vote weight equal diplomatic war declaration. Majority vote. Yes. So we fix that. All right. I really like the way this is rocking and rolling. Okay. So up here, let's take a look at our fleets. Let's get a couple of these guys upgraded. And then uh, we're going to go to war with these bozos. Defenses. All these things are up here. I can actually... Upgrade some of those. Fleet it's upgrading their AI is what it's upgrading. And now the Galactic Fleet Council Emergency Measures of the Lorongo Shipping has leveraged Fleet major research supply. sanctions. Research okay, well. Major Fleet research sanctions. Supply. Empires that have been denounced take a penalty. I'm all supply. for that. And you guys are ready? Alright. And they're upgrading. Get over here. Fleet enhancement supply. Research, admin capacity. Naval capacity, yes, please. It's not the same five every time they have to rotate Fleet in there. Supplied. 
Fleet enhancements supplied. This is going to be refineries. Fleet enhancements supplied. And you can't build them yet until your plan gets a capital big enough for it. Fleet enhancements supplied. Refineries are special. They require some enhancements supplied. capital support. This is research. Oh, and there's Fleet food processing facilities. There's food on here. Let's do that. Fleet enhancements supplied. Okay, how are you guys doing? Your aggressive stance, you're done. Go here. So what do they have over here? They have a whole bunch of little fleets, and they have two. They have a 20,000 and a 17,000. So we should be able to go here to say the, the Synthoid Matrix, who are now pathetic, and their fleet power is pathetic. We can declare war, end threat, containment. And what's it say? Fleet enhancement supplied. We are now at war with them. Great. Awesome. Okay, so what are they going to do? Are they going to move towards us or they're going to wait? Gateway construction site is ready in the Tersonia system. So we're going to go there. Because we have to turn this gateway on. Alright, so now we want to go here and see what's going on. These guys aren't doing anything. So, enhancement supplied. I want everybody by this right Fleet there. Enhancement supplied. And then we're going to go in here and roll on in here and take these suckers down. There's, they got, one, they got one fleet. That, they got fleets that are already taken off. They're like, whoa, we're getting the flock out of here, man. Fleet enhancement supplied. You guys ready? Let's roll. Fleet Let's go do it. Supplied. Let's go take it to them. Okay, so this... I like to put a mix of these. I don't like to do all crystals on these habitats. I like to get one of each and, and then plus of the crystals. Good job, gentlemen. Over here. And where are my troops? Transport fleet, please move to here. Are all you guys ready? Your aggressive stance? Let's go. What's the, I always like to make sure that they don't have a really strong bastion here that's going to eat me. Initializing hostile yes. Protocols. We caught them. Oh yeah, baby. Research concluded. Oh my goodness, that is a mess. Look at that. Oh, they're getting mowed down, baby. Oh, sugar. They were going down. That was awesome. Okay, so battleship build speed. We'll take that. Uh, what I want to do then is I want to take the smallest one of the bunch, the runt, and have the go there. Have you guys go here and here. And have the other ones go here. Research concluded. We'll spread out. Research, energy weapon attack, speed. So those are caught up the same now. We'll get shielding to caught up with them. The Jaguala Trade Commission declared war on the Obadan Sacrosanct. Well, that's perfectly fine. These guys are sitting here doing nothing, and I think I'd like them up here ready to go in case there's. Just in case there's debris to be researched. Research is going to go on this planet. Let's keep building it out first. There's time. Yep. So track on map. There's uh, some right there. So I want you to go research that. Gentlemen. Yep. Keep doing that. Go all the way up there. Grab that. 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 And then move to here. You gentlemen. Go there. You gentlemen go there as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go do this. And they're, they're like, hey, oh, if they think they're going to come through there. Admiral has died at old age, so we'll get him a new one. This is ship fire rate and sublight speed, or evasion and sublight speed. I'd rather have ship fire rate. Evasion is also nice, but ship fire rate applies to my other ships as well. It doesn't just benefit Corvettes. Another so day. You, yep, you guys are going there. That's good. 
Another scientific breakthrough. All right, let's see. Devastator torpedoes. You folks can move up here. They have most of their planets are right here. So, gateway constructed in the Vite system, yay! And now Vite is having its trade collected right here. We should be able to say. You can check it by clicking on that number. It says 22 traders being collected. I don't know why it doesn't isn't showing it right that second going straight there. What do we have down here? <coughs> Hold on. We have trade. Because this is going through that wormhole. I know what I'd like to do. Build a gateway right there. Gateway right there. So you can see up here what's going on with the trade is a whole bunch of it is coming through right here. The value is 1264, which is just way more than those. Look, we have five star bases providing anywhere from 44 to 62 trade protection, and it's all overlapping on there. But even then, it just can't keep up with this, and that's why you have to have gateways. So I want. Uh, all this trade here this is all going through this wormhole and that's a bit problematic what I really want it to do is I want that to go why is it going through there I just want to go directly to there what about this one where is it going yeah I see yeah because it's all that got to go through here to get to that gateway it would be better almost be better to have this going to that gateway and that gateway goes there that might ease it up here now it's at 919 uh, let's continue to look at this here It's all going to come through there to go to there. Oh, it's all coming from over there. That number should still be lower than that. There's not. There's not that much trade coming through here. How much trade's coming through here? 78. Research should that concluded. Big. Shipwreck shouldn't be that study. big. Fascinating. Admin capacity, naval capacity. Naval capacity is the one I'll be doing most. Oh, and we should probably turn some of these edicts on. Yep. Uh, focusing crystals, sensors, reactive armor, explosives, ammunition, shield boost, fuel. Turn all of those on. They're all very nice. I come back up here and take care of this war. I'll worry about that trade thing later. Uh, how, what's this? The numbers are really small. So. What I'm going to do is send you guys there. And I'll send the other ones over here. I'll keep selling this. <clears throat> when it gets to be this point, I don't tend to watch the individual battles don't really care care about the outcome but then I am an old Civ 2 player so let's see armies 112 and 112 so we should be good to go in there and conquer those you guys need to go take that gateway right there here come our allies from our Federation showing up always good to see from those guys this shouldn't be long. We should really uh commencing planetary incursion initiative. Lorongo Shipping Alliance completes a Colossus project. Ooh, so they're now gonna have that power. We'd like to have it as well. So I'm not gonna complain about those guys getting it. We got a bunch of stuff here to research though. This is good. For our scientists, keep them busy. This person comes up here and grabs this. The mirror and alliance of colonies came through that wormhole, so they took that. And that's totally fine totally okay with that 
Um, Planetary incursion initiative successful. Excellent. So that that's one of them. We still don't have the system because we have to get this other one, Itrun. So we go over to Itrun and we take that. And now commencing planetary incursion initiative. And that shouldn't take long. We'll be able to put an end to these guys, hopefully. They've kind of been threatening. Planetary incursion initiative. So long, there successful. we go. So that planet is taken care of. So now we can send these guys here. Oh, and now we have some Empire Sprawl. Because we've taken stuff over. So let's go take care of these planets first. They're going to be quickly purging all the robots on here. We want to see what the population is like. They're all synthoids. So this is an Arctic world. So I would like to find at least one person who can handle Arctic. And that is Ozone. This is Ozone X. And this is in the John Mardur... Jormer... Jor uh, you know what? I like the name Ozone X. Ozone X. Way better. We're going to call this Ozone X 1. And then we're going to find a frozen world like this, an Arctic world in our own empire. If we have one, I thought we did. There's a relic world, relic world, continental. Do we have anybody who likes the cold? Maybe we don't. Arid world, Ecumenopolis, continental world. I don't think we do. Let's check out our species. In our empire, or we have these guys. Alpine preference, the Deathicon. Where are the Deathicon at? And where would those guys be? Deathicon, leave it. Okay. Problem is, it doesn't tell you what planet they're on. Oh. Paragur 1. Hold on. Paragur, where is that system? That's not our system. That's where their homeworld is then. Okay, so the Deathicon. Hmm. I wonder where they're at. Well, what we can do is you put your population on here. We go backwards. Ozone X, Hab C. And look at the names. We're looking for the Deathicons. We'll just see if we can find... There's Deathicon right here. Hab B has Deathicon. So we're going to resettle a couple of those guys. We're going to resettle one to Ozone X. The Deathicon. It's a specialist in this. An enforcer. So that was on Hab B. And if we keep going... It said there were nine of those populations. And here's some Deathicon on Arbitraeus. So we're going to resettle those to Itron. At least one of them. It's a soldier job. And that way, neither one of those planets will get lost. When they purge all of those people, there won't become a dead world that we have to resettle. So we're going to call Itron. I like Itron too. That's also a good name. But we're going to call it Ozone X 2. Now we're going to come in here. And a lot of these buildings are probably going to be destroyed. Um, we can't really generate people that fast, so uh, we'll just let them do what they're going to do. The purge. They're going to purge people. In the meantime, we're going to pause the game here real briefly, and we're going to take care of some of our other planets. Because this is what happens during war, is I tend to neglect what's going on. And some of these places have unemployment... And it's like, hmm, you should take care of that. So here's Vite. I love that. Adrian Vite. We said, we haven't decided what we're going to do with this planet yet. And I think because of given their numbers that uh, it makes a lot of sense for this. Oh, and this already has some research on it. Why? What's it have? I'm looking here. Fungal forest. Why does it have a bunch of research on here? Is it just from just from the leadership jobs? Must be. 
from the Capitol building. Oh, because science director jobs, yeah. So I'm going to put, uh, well, I'm going to put some research on there, and then I like, like, like always, it's got to have commercial zones, it's got to have, it's got to have all the stuff. Protus, same kind of story. Oh, and we'll go back to Vite and we'll tell it. You're going to be a research world. Protus is a refinery world. So let's go down here and put crystal plants on it. This is not a big deal. It's got a bunch of unemployed pops. Hab A says, I've got unemployment. We don't have a job slot for you. We could build something here. This is going to be consumer goods. So let's do that. Civilian so industries. Up the capital and that will provide a job. And then we can actually do that. Some unemployment here. They have all of the key stuff that they're supposed to have. Galactic Star Exchange, this, 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 this. So it's just put more of these on there. It doesn't have an Autochthon one yet. Um, so let's put that on there. I like to make sure every planet has one of those. This, we're going to raise its Autochthon monument up now. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be short some people for housing, then that's totally okay. Totally okay. It'll actually help slow down the planet growth and, and create uh, immigration push elsewhere. So this planet, we said research, but again, Get the core basics on it first. This one says, I need more jobs. And I say, I'm happy to raise up plus three jobs for a research facility. Same thing here. Raise the capital up. They don't have enough uh, city stuff yet. I don't have enough living space. You can see they're at zero. So we're going to go in here and do that. Ethior says we need more jobs and we'll do that and then on Nomad we're at this point where we can raise some jobs up for this as well alright so now we can go back to war now we can go back to fighting the war over here our guys are coming in there you can see how fast those numbers are doing Oof. smoking and Given that we just hit our cap in money, I'm going to go over there and spend some of it. This is quite lovely. I will give it that. Nanex, you want to be in here ahead of your allies because your allies are, are going to kind of try to turn this into a patchwork area of of systems that aren't connected so you have to get ahead of the hurt curve a little bit here and the thing we're behind on is rare crystals and that's fine and we're ahead on sprawl so one of our planets down here we turned into uh, yeah this one bureaucracy and I think the most important thing to right now is to add another one because I don't want that sprawl we get we get that sprawl really quick research concluded no orders those guys are landing let's see these are all repeatables so right there that's the last one that's probably not repeatable this science ship continuing to just run its way up here and research debris research which is great. concluded you can actually take a perk that makes it so enemies can't research your debris when you lose battles. I'm never too concerned with that. Energy weapon. Let's go for damage. Planetary incursion initiative so that one's done. Get that planet. We're going to come up here. Synthon. We're going to do that down here. This planet Nanex in the Lurzumon system. So I'm going to rename this again. I like to make sure that they always match makes it easier to find them uh, this is it's a heck of a planet it's a tech world it's arctic so we should find somebody we need another glossed Warhini person or a Dathnak or whatever it's called so because who let's check that again we know that it's the Deathacon 
The Deathicon and the Glostorhini. So those are our boys. Deathicons and Glostorhinis. And if we can see any of them. That must mean I have some Glostorhinis somewhere. Oh, so there's Synthoid and Deathicon. That's Ozone X. We want to keep that way. And Ozone X to Nanex. We got to find somebody for Nomad. Nomad. The Ecumenopolis. This probably has some on it, doesn't it? Nope. I don't see any Deathicons or Glostorhinis. Trappist. Doesn't have any on it. This other Trappist doesn't. Mang. Relic doesn't have any. So this is what you gotta do is look for him. Damia. Wow, where are these people hidden? Where are they hidden? Damia robot. Zimpok. This is why sometimes one of the more fun ways to play the game is to, is to only have one species. There's Deathicon here on Vite. Okay, we're going to resettle them. got to remember that. They're on Vite. We're going to resettle one to Nanix. Let's find the lowest. There's an unemployed one. That's perfect. So, we got that person on Nanix. And this ship is moving, and the other one is not, and it needs to. It needs to move right there. So on Vite, we're going to move some Vites to Synthus. Shipwreck study. As soon as we grab Vessel. that one as well. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. Synthus. This will be over. It's um, and they have drone grids. Oh, they came over Planetary here. Incursion initiative successful. Okay, so we're gonna resettle someone from Vite to Syntha. Resettle. As long as there's another, and there is a Deathicon. There's a worker technician, so we'll do that. Oh, and there's a bunch of planets there. That's pretty. Admiral gains a trait. Synthoid matrix. Okay, gentlemen, you gotta come over here. You gotta take this planet now. There's two of them. Strobus. They have 112 garrison. 112 garrison there. There, our, our neighbors are going over there trying to take those guys from us. They're trying to take the system, so. Gentlemen. We don't want that to happen. We want all these systems. <laughs> <laughs> Dyson Sphere Frame. Excellent. So we come back down here to the Dyson Sphere. Now you can see it. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Dyson Sphere Frame. So now we'll install like half the panels. Or a third of the panels, I think. It's got a few more. It's got a little bit more to go. Our guys, we're going to send them down to here. Because I think our neighbors are over here attacking that one. So, and you can always go up here and see Synthoid Matrix. They're down to two planets, Telsus and Strobus. These are the last two. Because some neighbors over here, the Lorango Shipping Alliance, just took that. So I'm going to send this guy home. And I'm going to send this guy home. And we're going to see how this last system turns out. Research concluded. And then the war should be over. Planetary incursion initiative successful. So. So now we're waiting to see what happens with this last one. Strobus. Land our armies. What's going on over here? They're they're getting bombarded, but they're not landing armies. So and this is Tels Teslas. So we're gonna go back to Vite and we're gonna resettle someone to Teslas. We need a Deathicon for that. That's the last Deathicon here. So now, oh, but there's a Glostrohini here as well. So that's cool. We can send a Glostrohini to Strobus. 
our guys. There we go. Gateway constructed in the Tersonia system. That's awesome. These guys are going to fight. For their right. To party. Planetary incursion and that's it. And the end of the Synthoid Matrix. And we lost the colony... We lost administrative control of Strobus to the Mirren Alliance of Colonies who controls the Starbase and the Kakanan system. Oh, no, and we lost Teslas as well. Oh, darn it. That's what I didn't want to have happen. I didn't want them to get this. Rats. Okay, well, I can't cry too much. We got the rest of this, so it's kind of awesome. We did a good job here. Uh, I'm going to send you guys back to... A declaration to of war has been announced. Why don't we send you to there? So, we did pretty good. We didn't get everything we wanted, but at least they're gone now. War. The Mirren Alliance of Colonies declared war against the Tzikian Illustrator. War declared Mirren Alliance of Colonies. Now we shall see which empire is strong. And then we have some extra star bases here. So, I'm not really concerned. I'm going to look and see what these are. This is... This is a shipyard, so I'm going to downgrade that. And then uh, here, this is all anchorage, which is fine. We'll uh, go through these next episode and kind of figure out what we need to do. I have to build a gateway in here somewhere to take this trade and just automatically shoot it over to the homeworld. But um, considering how things went, I feel pretty good about this. Don't you? This was... Uh, we got a little bit of Empire Sparrow we got to get rid of. So, because we're taking a 38% ding in technology cost right now, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so, that'll be the first thing we'll fix at the beginning of next episode. We'll fix that. And then, rare crystals are at minus one. We've got to keep making those. But this is, again, oh, it's always fun to scroll back and look and see what our Empire looks like now. It's quite substantial. I certainly like the look of that. Um, these guys down here, the Sovereign Lachak's Domain's opinion of us is now back to minus 104. Uh, and uh, incoming transmission. Artisan troop. That wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh, the artisan troop, though. What is this? We want to commission an art piece. We want to become your patron. What's this do? Patron of the Arts added. It gives you monthly unity plus 10%. Oh, yes. Heck, yeah. I want to do that. I thought we were only doing it for the curator order. But anyway, to go back down here and look at these guys. The Sovereign Latrax. Uh, improve. Send an envoy to help them. It says we can't send another one. I don't know why. So I don't know what's going on with them, but... If they want to go to war with us, we'll go to war with them. This is where we're at. I like this. It's cool. It's been a good playthrough so far. Nothing uh, too horrible has happened. For those of you who are newbies and who are watching the series and you've made it this far and you're like, hey, I'm going to hang with this until the end because I want to see the end game crisis and I want to see the fallen empire taken down and all that stuff. Um, I would strongly recommend also checking out some of my other Let's Play series, particularly the Stark Enterprise one, which was really good. And the Wily Warrior Clan. Those are two great series that show me having to deal with adversity and come back from adversity. That's one of the more fun things, I guess, to do in Stellaris, even though it's a little bit aggravating at times, is some Stellaris players play with without Iron Man. And if things start to go sideways, they go back to an earlier save and they think that they can they can make different choices and have a different outcome but Stellaris is a game that really gives you an opportunity to overcome challenges in a different way it's just like okay take your loss on the chin pick yourself up off the ground brush yourself off and go back at it again and nowhere is that more evident than the Wily Warrior Clan series I did but also the, the Stark Enterprise one has a pretty good uh, example of that and that is in one of those series the, the Marauder Clans which we saw earlier when they were all red down here and they were fighting. The Marauder Kynes came in. They were close to me and they steamrolled me. And I just had to accept 
surrender and become a satrapy unto them. So that was basically becoming a vassal underneath them. And I did that and it kept my empire alive. And then what happened over time was I was able to build up my strength. And then I think somebody eventually rolled in and destroyed them and I became free, you know, free willy. So uh, there's a lot of different ways to handle things in Stellaris. And I think one of the lessons you need to take from playing the game as a new player is when things start to go sideways, just push through. Don't, don't leave the game and start a new game and think, oh, I'll just get a better start or I'll just keep starting until I get a good start. Don't do that. Play through the adversity because you'll learn some things and you'll learn some tactics for how to deal with it. And it's uh, very rewarding when you finally do overcome those odds. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. As always, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the channel, subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, my Patreon is listed in the description below. And remember, my dedicated tutorials for Stellaris are also listed in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.